My friend Pat sent me this. You got to hear this. New York woman gets 45 years for recording herself and accomplice raping three-year-old girl. Syracuse, New York. Sarah R. Gates, age 40, of Cortland, New York, was sentenced yesterday to serve 540 months, that's 45 years, in prison for conspiring and acting together with a co-defendant, Christopher Perry, to sexually exploit a child under five years of age for the purpose of producing images of the abuse. As part of her prior guilty plea to a three-count information, Gates admitted that on several occasions in 2017, she and Perry performed sexual acts on the child while taking photographs of the abuse using two cell phones. Senior United States District Judge Thomas J. McAvoy also imposed a 15-year term of supervised release, which will start after Gates is released from prison. As a result of her conviction, Gates will also be required to register as a sex offender upon her release from prison. Perry previously pled guilty to the same offenses and was sentenced on November 3rd, 2020, to 540 months, 45 years in prison. Now, that's what I got to say to you guys. Some of you who send your kids over Uncle Larry's house, and Aunt Susie's house, you better check your kids. If you notice behavior patterns where the child used to be bubbly, outgoing, and vivacious, and all of a sudden they are withdrawn, they are rigid, they are introverted, just a quick, sudden change of personality, get that baby to the doctor and have their private parts investigated. And then you have that child prayed for so they don't end up being psychological, emotionally, spiritually, and physically jacked up for the rest of their lives. This is crazy. Now, I know a lot of you are not born-again Christian. I get that. But what I do want to make you aware of, for those who are and those who are not, there is a thing called transference of demons. And some of you wonder why some of your kids are so promiscuous, why Every time you look around, if you turn your back on your child, they're feeling and fondling up on another person's child. They're uh, abusing and bullying and, and, and molesting kids at school, in the gym, in the bathroom. And you're wondering, where did that come from? Where are you sending your kids? Are you really watching them? Or are you going over cousin cousin Ibsen's house and you're sitting up there drinking and getting high while the kids are over there doing their thing? And you wonder why they get so messed up, why they're so promiscuous, why they're so weird. Some of them are, are standoffish because they don't trust anybody. Why do you think? Because nobody's supervising these kids. They're letting them go off and do whatever they want to do. And when they do whatever they want to do, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, whatever, kid down the street, they're introducing each other to stuff that you never even did. And demons get deposited into these kids. And when they get deposited, you have kids molesting adults. You have kids molesting other kids. Kids molesting and raping babies. Animals. And it gets sicker and sicker and more and more bizarre. 